Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Lure Painting with Zach Baker. I'm Zach Baker and today we've got a special guest, my wife. This is Taylor. She's painted one fish in the river before. I messed it up. We're not counting that. Well, oh, okay. This is uh, her first YouTube video painting a fish in the river. It'll be your second one technically that you've painted, correct? Yes. But hopefully when we're done the first one that you're happy with. Yeah, okay. Today's blank is a medium three and a half inch diver from Barlow's Tackle. I'll have it linked below if you guys want to pick up your own. Uh, this one, we the only thing I've done is prep it. I haven't done a base coat of white or anything like that. That way, Miss Taylor can do all the painting to it. Uh, but if you want to know how I prep my baits, I'll have that video linked below. I've got nothing else to say, and neither does Taylor. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll paint this bait. So, first color is the white. Yep, opaque white. And we've already cleaned the bait and prepped it and wiped it down. So, first color up is opaque white. And you're going to load it into your airbrush and get to town. It's only a couple drops, right? Yeah, I do. You're doing a base coat, so I'd do like four or five drops. And so here, there would be a good spot real quick before you go anymore to hit it with the hair dryer really quick. Because what will happen a lot is you'll put, you'll keep going, trying to thicken it or make it completely opaque, and then it'll start running on you or the paint will start blowing everywhere. Ducky duck. And because we're going to be doing green and stuff on the back of it, I would do this real fast just to make sure you got the bottom good. And it looks like you did, but we're going to be doing that bright yellow later. So it's real important that wherever that bright yellow is going to go, you have the white built up real good. But it looks like you got it pretty nice. Yay! So let's clean out the airbrush, and then we'll switch over to our next color. Okay. And then you said the yellow goes on the bottom, right? You're going to do the whole bait in the yellow. Oh! Go right over top of all that white. Okay, I would hair dryer and then we'll do a second coat. And on your second coat is when I'd focus more uh, on the second coats when I would focus more on the belly. Cause we are gonna be doing the green up there, but it's really on the side right here and towards the bellies where that yellow is gonna be showing on your final uh, bait. So okay. we'll do your second coat and really focus it on the side. Okay. Then you said the orange yes, on the belly, right? Your favorite color. Yes, it is. Hold it a little bit closer. They can see exactly which part number it is for the orange. Uh, if you want to practice doing like a straight line, because you're just wanting to do it on the belly. So if you get a little bit closer to it and don't pull back quite as much. So do it again without pulling back as much. There you go. Nice, you're ready. That's exactly what you want to do. And you already got the bait bug. Already got the bait turned around. So what, what I do sometimes on these that helps me a lot is you get the stand holding it exactly how you want it. And then you can two hand the airbrush if you want to be more steady. Okay. And then yeah, starting down real quick. Starting down on where your tape is. Uh, that way you can kind of get the paint rolling how <laughs> starting down where the tape is so you can get the bit <laughs> starting down on where the tape is so that way you can get the paint coming out and then working your way up just like you were getting ready to do but i wanted to explain that uh for other people that are watching so i always like to start especially on like crawl patterns and stuff like this get your paint rolling down here and then work your way up and down the bait till it gets thicker and then also when you're doing really small stuff like this, really important that once you see it starting to turn shiny, it's wet. So then you wanna make sure you hit it with a hair dryer. Otherwise, it'll start blowing that paint and run down the sides and we don't want that. Like it did on that one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But you got this. I have faith in you. There you go. Ooh, it's looking good. We'll go to the right just a little bit more. That oh. way it'll match. 
over here. Yep. See how there's a little bit more orange on the left yeah. than there is on the right? So what I'd do real quick is... Hit it with the hair dryer. Best part ever. Okay. Okay. Now it's this green. Yep. The darker color is going to build up a lot faster. So you were, we had to do a whole bunch with the orange to get it to be a real bright. The green, you're not going to have to do that as much. Okay. You're basically going to do the exact same thing that you just did, only it's going to be on the back of the bait instead of the bottom. And so, so one thing that's going to, that can help some other people too, if you're trying to do close stuff like that, it's like a shotgun. If you're real close, you're going to have a small line, but the further out you are, it's going to make a bigger pattern. So when you're trying to do just the back of the bait like she is, a little bit closer that you hold is going to be better. But if you're too close, you're going to get really small lines. But if you're way out here, it's going to do a big sweeping pattern. The shotgun effect. Because I want that to come further down the sides because that's going to be black um, all the way, right? Well, I actually don't know that we're going to do black on the back of it. I think we're just going to do black stripes. But if you want to do a little bit by the eyes and the very nose of it, I think that would look pretty good. Like that. Turn it sideways so you're kind of blowing that direction with it and hit just the eye socket. Nice. Yo, it looks good. I love it. Do you not? It looks good. Yeah, it looks great. It's a fire type. So now it's the black for the stripes. Yes. Alright, let's see what we've got. Transparent black. Opaque black would work too, but if you've watched my videos, you know I like the transparent black a little better because it's thinner and the spray's easier. Whenever you hold this up here, make sure that you're not holding it crooked, that's exaggerated, but make sure it's not going a little bit one way or the other. I, it doesn't matter, I guess, but to me it looks funny whenever it's at an angle. So you want to hold it like that, and I'm going to where the bill starts, because if you try to go further, it's going to hold it way off there. So just and you like kind of got one shot with it, yeah. So basically what you see, what you can see through there, that's that neon yellow, that's what you're going to spray over. And then maybe try to avoid the gill plate. So start back here. Yep. I think that works. That, that actually good. does look good. Yeah. Is that dark enough, you think? It could be a little bit darker, but that's up to you whether or not you want to try to do it again. And then if, if you're doing it again, you can go a little bit lower too. That's probably good. Ooh, that looks, looks better. Good. I like it. Uh, so I do a little bit more. Um, higher and lower. That's good. So now if you want, you can uh, either hold this up here and connect the stripes, kind of, or leave it as is, or dark in the back. It's up to you, it's your bait. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can do this. So I would move it, see how the inside of that gets more narrow? There you go. So yeah, I like it. Do you like it? Da. Da. <laughs> so I now maybe what you could do, that'll tie it all together, is Darken up at the eyes and the nose, just a little bit, but leave some of that green. Like that? Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. Yay! Uh, so you got some like chartreuse neon yellow. <laughs> there you go. Your other option was solid black or red. Yeah. Bright orange? The bright orange. Perfect. You can grab your pair of tweezers over there. I can hold your eye for you. Because you might need both hands. Oh, no, you got it. Just dab it. A little bit. <laughs> there you go. That's good. Oh, no. That's okay. Just take 
Let's take a paper towel. So you can just wipe away some of that. So. There we go. And slide your eye in. Try not to touch it. Get a little closer with the tweezers. There you go. Oh, that eye's gonna look good. There you go. And then you can adjust it with the tweezers. Ooh, that looks good. Nice. There you go. Okay. Let's go check out the bait finished. <laughs> no, you're supposed to say we're gonna let it dry. Uh, okay, we're gonna let it dry. Uh, put some clear coat on it. We're gonna let it dry, put some clear coat on it, and then we'll show it to you when it's finished. Nice. Hey, good job. That was a bad hand. Is that good? There. I, there. I like that. Yeah, that one's One the more. best. There we, there we go. go. <laughs> <laughs>